If you've ever wondered what a pine martin can leave in your ceiling, well here you go. That is approximately, I'd say, I don't know, uh, five wheelbarrow loads of um, walnuts, uh, grass seeds, there's uh, hay, um, there's all sorts here. There's um, a snake skin. There's absolutely everything here. There's a there's a bit of old um, that's honeycomb from a beehive. That's not from the pine martin, but there's everything. If you could have smell of vision on uh, YouTube, uh, the smell of vision is well, it's extraordinary. Uh, the smell is um, uh, for those old enough to have been in a 1970s council toilet or of uh, uh, ever smell. Um, a dead badger that's uh, worn nappies. Uh, yeah, you're getting the idea. So um, it is, well, my eyes are practically wa uh, water and it is um, absolutely incredible. So uh, yeah, yeah, it is um, rather special in here. There's uh, also a lot of dead wasps and uh, bees in there. Sorry, yeah, yeah, it is absolutely incredible. So yeah, it's, um, there's a, uh, that is a 50 litre compost bag and it's probably going to fill about 10 of those. So uh, just yeah, just before I start clearing it out, I thought I'd show you how much a pine martin can leave. Yeah, the, uh, the pine martin uh, got in through there. That's going up into the loft. And uh, unfortunately, I don't know if you can see there, but the beam no longer goes all the way to the wall. Well, probably never went to the wall actually, which is another problem we've got to sort out. Um, but yeah, the bricks have all been eaten away. Yeah, so um, yeah, that's another problem to sort out. But the, the planks, yep, he got in there. And uh, yeah, but if, you show, if I show you this, I might sound like a bit like Darth Vader at the moment because I've uh, got my mask on. But that is the bees absolutely clambering over the window. They're a bit feisty, but. Um, this thing isn't too bad, probably because I was uh, wearing me overalls at the time, but they stung me on both hands and on the belly. They don't, they don't know it too bad, uh, as bees go. They're quite friendly. But here, up here, is the beehive, and it is absolutely crawling in bees. We talked to a very lovely lady who we was selling bee, well, a uh, bee bee honey uh, she was selling um jars of honey on the uh on the local market this morning oh crikey don't leave me alone um uh yeah she was selling ha jars of honey on the market this morning and uh she said it's totally the wrong time of year to be um moving <laughs> moving hives sorry bit scared um yeah Earlier on, they absolutely smothered me and I had to run outside. Uh, it's a totally the wrong time of year to be moving hives, but the hive uh, to the right people is very valuable. Um, uh, I don't know if that means in monetary terms, but it's very valuable and um, there's a definite shortage of bees and uh, she, she was quite against moving it really. Uh, unfortunately, this is going to be our bedroom. So... Um, we got the ideal place for it to go. It'd be great at the end of our barn, uh, but how we're going to move it, I don't know. So uh, yeah, yeah. There is also. I don't know if you can see over here. Daylight coming in. So yeah. So there's more droppings on the floor over there. And I don't know if you can see, uh, not too great over there, but there's a little pinhole of daylight coming in through the bathroom over there. So yeah, problems, problems, problems. And uh, there's a crackle around the window as well. So problems, problems, problems. Yeah, lots of problems to sort out in this room. 
get out of the light so the, hopefully the camera adjusts. So there we go. Room full of lots of problems. Oh, something crawling on my shoe. Yeah, must go.
Can you read the sack uh, plastic? Uh, uh, oui. Problem is too um, pull in the in the mur. All right. Okay. Apparently, if the, the queen is in the wall, we've got a problem. Uh, if the queen is in the box that Anud took away, uh, then we're good to go. But there is a rather huge hole in the ceiling up there, and the uh, ooh, the uh, bees are still rather feisty and there is still a huge number of bees on the wall outside and a huge number of bees in here and they're still rather active and as you can see around this window I don't know if you can there's a huge number swarming around this window and a huge number on the wall outside and in this room there's a, quite a lot of dead ones on the floor but there are an awful lot of live ones some of them are quite docile from the smoke but some of them really aren't. There's a load on the wall over it. Oh. <laughs> and uh, some of them are becoming less docile because the smoke has gone. Some over there drinking some honey. Um, I don't know if that makes them hyperactive, a bit like me, or not. It makes, it makes their legs all wing sticky. They're coming for me. I don't like that. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not being very steady. Maybe because I drilled through my fing finger. Um, and because there's a lot of blooming bees in the room. And I'm not wearing gloves or goggles or face mask or anything like that. So, uh, yeah, I'd rather get out of this room. I'm really too sweet. So, uh, yeah, there we go. I'm going to have to get all the honey off that ladder tomorrow. Otherwise, it's going to tracked every uh, known critter in France um, yeah and all the honey dripping down that room and that as well oh jolly good jolly good oh yeah I'm a big brave boy really not it's a day later uh, I don't know if you can see but there is a massive clump of bees on the corner of the window up there. There is another massive clump of bees starting to form on the skirting board down there. There's a huge pile of bees dying on the floor. Bees on the windowsill. There's bees everywhere in the room. I'm only wearing a t-shirt and shorts which probably isn't the best idea in a room full of bees and they are not little worker bees they are some of them are the size of hornets they are starting to reform on the ceiling there's a hole in the wall up there I don't know if you can see it but that is uh, where the bees are coming in uh, he basically um, tried to explain yesterday that he didn't know whether the um, the bee, the queen bee, um, was in the uh, the box that he took away, or uh, was in the wall. Uh, if it's in the wall, we have a problem. There's um, more bees trying to form inside the uh, radiator as well, which is a problem. Um, when I open the window, which get off me. Um, uh, that window was absolutely swarming in bees. I'm trying to keep my finger away, but um, I drilled through my finger uh, on Saturday. Um, that, bee, that window was absolutely swarming uh, in bees, and it was absolutely terrifying to open. Um, so, uh, 
yeah, the uh, the bees um, are basically trying to drink all the honey and then uh, they lie in the honey on the floor. Uh, the um, and oh, crikey, <laughs> trying to be brave. Um, it's not the best way to wax your floor. Um, yeah, so uh, not exactly ideal um, situation we got here. Uh, there's a couple of very nice bright green um, beetles on the floor in amongst all of that. Um, and somehow something's got in and dropped a couple of walnut shells in as well. So uh, something is still getting in through the ceiling up here, which is a bit irritating. So, jolly good. Yeah, so that's the situation we got, unfortunately. Yeah, so I'm going to vacate the room as soon as possible. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, so I'll see if I can zoom in on um, that little hive down there. What's forming up there for you? Oh, Ooh, he's an angry little bugger. And uh, if you can see that, I'm being very brave for you guys. Brave or stupid, one of the two. Um, I've been a bit dumb all my life, as you can probably tell. Now, all over the top there. Hope that's hair tickling my ear, not a bee. So there you go. Hopefully bees, you find a lovely new home. There's plenty of holes in the wall. Um, there's some lovely, lovely holes in the wall. I'll show you... Um, Another little hole in the minute where um, some blue tits have um, started to occupy. So there we go. I'll show the show you the hole from the outside, which is also swarming. This is about five o'clock the next day after the bee man's gone. Uh, as you can see, I've had a bit of a sweep up on the floor, and uh, there's a lot of mess and dead bees on the floor. Uh, the clump of bees on the window has gone. There's still, there's still a lot of bees flying around. Uh, there's some dead bees on the windowsill. Um, but the bees have gathered on the skirting board in a big clump. They're still there, try not to bother them too much, and uh, oh, go away Mr. B, and uh, they gathered up here, um, yeah, there we go, I'm not sure whether the Queen's there, I don't know who a few. Yeah. That's the hole, we think, where they're getting in. There's a bee on the camera now. There's the bee nest. And you around a bit. We coming for me, sorry. But there is probably about a third as many bees in here as there were this morning and the noise isn't deaf 
deafening. This morning when I come in here, you could hear this noise from the front door. Um, it was very loud and now it's just a gentle hum. So, the bees might be looking for a new home. So, um, that might be good. Obviously, quite a few of them are dying, which probably isn't quite so good. But, um, yeah, we might have sorted our bee problem, which um, could be good. There we go. It's a lot, lot quieter in here and there are a lot less bees mobile in the air. So there you go. Little update probably about 24 hours later. No bees. No bees on the skirting board. No bees there. Couple of bees there. And we took the opportunity while they were gone to put some expanding foam in the hole. So yeah, they all disappeared outside sort of probably about day six they sort of we came back from Aubusson and there was um, a swarm sort of probably of about 50 bees around one of the cherry trees and we came inside and went there's no bees in here well there was like one or two bees on the windowsill looking rather poorly sort of like on the back, probably about like this. And we went, there's no bees in here. Absolutely quiet it was. And we thought, what should we do? We went outside, we looked at the hole on the house outside and there were no bees. And the, the bee swarm around the cherry tree was absolutely tiny in comparison with previous days. And we thought, what should we do? Should we, should we go out to the local hardware shop in town? Because there's a little tiny, tiny sort of sells everything from, you know, wine glasses to, you know, kitchen scales to, you know, food blenders to everything. And we had a wander around and they sold the, the smallest aerosol of expanding foam you've ever seen in your entire life so we bought it and it just about had enough to I wouldn't say fill the hole but sort of smear a bit of expanding foam around the inside of the house it doesn't fill the it doesn't it doesn't fill the hole basically on the outside of the house not even near we don't want it to because we're going to line water and fill it with stone we're going to hack this expanding foam off in a couple of weeks. But yeah, there's no bees in here. So yeah, they disappeared of their own accord. Brilliant. They've, so when Mr. Bee Man took the bees, he must have taken the queen. So brilliant. We are very very happy bees have found a new home so we we are happy as larry <laughs> <laughs>